Okay, well, I made one of these new uh, John Bedini cells that uh, he's working on with Chuck H. And uh, it uses uh, copper and magnesium. I'm having to use a, a zinc alloy marine anode there, but it's the same principle. But the trick is you take a copper piece and you heat it up and it forms a scale on the outside. And then you quench that copper in a solution of water and borax and the scale falls off and you end up with a semiconductor surface, like a diode surface on that. And that enhances the cell. And that's what I did here. I heated that pipe up on a stove and got it real, real black hot and then quenched it in the water and borax and the scale fell off and ended up with a semiconductor surface and then made this uh, cell out of a uh, zinc anode, a marine zinc anode and then a borax distilled water with a paper separator and uh, I was amazed at how much powerful that was than a regular cell made with these two materials now this is uh, a cell that I made using zinc and copper a ways back and it's still working, you see the LEDs are still on and uh, it's the same principle. It's uh, distilled water and, and uh, alum. And then uh, this happens to have the concrete in the middle of it too, but it's working about the same way. But watch this come on now. And this is an automatic on-off uh, circuit. that uh, It's John Bedini's uh, light circuit, but then I added a photo transistor to make it on-off. But watch how bright this is when I turn it on here. Okay, look at the brightness on that. Now look at the brightness on this. And that's using this new technique of turning the copper into a semiconductor. And it's using the uh, alum and water, distilled water. And then um, this is uh, marine zinc. It's not even magnesium. And that should last for a long, 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 long time. Now I have a little piece of paper towel down there with the water and alum down there to keep this moist and it comes up through capillary action. And if you just kept water in there, this would just keep on running and it would come on and off automatically. So I'm just putting my hand in front of it. Uh, as an indoor, you could put it outside too, but an indoor um, automatic light. And uh, that's bright enough to do some good, folks. This one here, it makes a nice night light and it works pretty good. It's not very bright. This one here is. Anyway, I'd suggest you try this out. You just take a copper pipe, you heat it up till it turns black, and you quench it in uh, water with borax, a 20 mule team borax. I got it at the store. And the black flakes off, and you end up with a semiconductor surface on the copper. So, anyway, uh, thanks, John uh, Bedini, for that new trick. And uh, these lights are getting better and better. And uh, you can find the circuit to this on the uh, uh, John Bedini Earth Light Thread at the Energetic Forum. All this information has been posted at the Energetic Forum on that Bedini Earth Light Thread. Thanks for watching.